Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is nhues 118 here, and I am back with another battle video. Today, I am facing one of my uh, good friends, Ashura. Uh, this battle uh, took place a little while ago. I'm just now getting to editing the uh, commentary for it. So, he's going to start off with Kangaskhan and Amoongus, and I'm going to start off with Sock and Banette. Now, he goes straight for the Mega Evolution with his Kangaskhan, which I expected. Now, I'm thinking he may fake out. So, I don't want my Sock to be affected, I'll just break it sturdy, so first turn I go with a Mega uh, Evolution with my Banette, and I go straight for the Protect with my Sock, just to avoid any incoming Fake Out. So, as you see, the Protect goes off, and his Kang is gonna actually go straight for the Sucker Punch, but it fails because it was targeting Sock, so I get off a free Will-O-Wisp with Banette on that Kang is gone, which sucks for him, unfortunately, and the Spore goes into the Fist of Fury, or Sock, as well. So that was a great first turn for me. So, second turn, he goes straight for a Sucker Punch again, thinking Banette may attack, so that's my opportunity to use Prankster and go for a Thunder Wave on the Amoongus, till he gets some hacks, and I go straight for a Closed Combat with the Sock, taking out that Kangaskhan with some crazy damage. Uh, I do le lose defense, special defense, but at this point I'm not too concerned about it. So his Amoongus goes straight for the Spore on my Sock and does get the the, the, uh, the sleep off this turn. So right now I'm in a pretty good position. He sends out his Gardevoir and it's going to trace uh, Sturdy. So now it has a free Focus Sash which sucks for me. So I'm going to switch out my Fist of Fury into my Roserade. Now I am using a uh, Choice Scarf Roserade which is amazing with Technician. So here I go for another uh, Prankster Thunder Wave on the Gardevoir just to slow it down and get some, uh, get possibly get some para hacks on it. Uh, it doesn't get paralyzed and he goes for the Dazzling Gleam. It does a decent amount to Banette and not too much to Roserade. So here Ashura actually switches out his Amoongus and goes right to his Garchomp. But uh, I go right for the Destiny Bond with my Banette thinking, okay, if he takes me out, I'll take out his Gardevoir, and my Roserade's going to go straight for the Sludge Bomb here, which gets rid of his Gardevoir. Uh, actually, it doesn't get rid of his Gardevoir, since he has Sturdy since he traced it, which sucks for me. So I'm thinking I need to get my Roserade out of there, so Gardchomp and uh, Gardevoir don't team up on it. Switch out into my Easy Bake Oven, or my Rotom Heat, and I go straight for the Will-O-Wisp on the Gardchomp. But he does indeed heavy Lumberry, and that takes that away. But the Rotom was a great switch in because he goes for the Earthquake. So he's going to effectively get rid of his own Gardevoir and take out my Binette. But that'll leave him with just a Moongus in the back. Uh, that's already paralyzed, and that leaves me with my Sock and my Roserade in the back. So I go ahead and send out my Roserade. Now my Roserade is running Dazzling Gleam, so I go for that right off the bat, and I do outspeed his Garchomp, and that does a lot of damage to that Garchomp. It doesn't do too much to the Amoongus, but that's okay. Garchomp ends up going for another Earthquake, uh, doing damage to his Amoongus and my Roserade, but not getting the knockout, and I do get up another free Will-O-Wisp on the Garchomp, burning it, which is great, because now it's not going to do anything to me. The Amoogus gets paralyzed this turn, which is awesome. And now his Garchomp's going to take burn damage, and get the Dazzling Gleam is going to take it out. So, his Garchomp, he goes for the Dragon Claw, takes on my Roserade, which tells me it is speed tied with my Roserade, with the Choice Scarf. And right here, I just go straight for the Overheat on the Amoongus to take that Amoongus out of there. So, that leaves me with a Rotom Heat and a Sock in the back that's still asleep against the Burn Garchomp. So, right now... I'm in a fantastic spot, and I already know that I have the battle. Um, Ashura actually doesn't forfeit. He wants to play through it. So his Garchomp goes for the Rock Slide. And I don't believe it flinches my Rotom. It might. Um, but my Sock is still asleep, so it's not doing anything this turn. And it does flinch. Uh, but the Burn is going to take care of the Garchomp the next turn anyway. So right now I just go for the Protect with my Rotom Heat. And, you know, he can Dragon Claw my uh, Sock, and that's not going to kill it. And I do wake up and get the Close Combat off and end the game with a Close Combat instead of the Burn. So, that was the battle with him. It was a pretty quick battle. Um, 
this was a new team I was testing out and he wasn't really expecting it. But if you did like the battle and you do want to see more, be sure to comment, uh, like, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much and have a great night.